G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to have a look at manipulating CSV data using t-string lists. What we have here is a very simple application. It's a form with a list box on it, and it's got a whole bunch of CSV data in here. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, when we click on a line, um, I'm going to add another list box. Uh, when we click on a line, it's going to um, fill this list box with the um, constituent items of that um, line. And to do that, you know, let's go into the um, on-click event, and if list box one dot um, item index isn't equal to minus one, that is to say, if a item is selected. List box two dot items. So we're going to use the comma text property. Item index. So um, we're assigning the currently selected item in list box one to the comma text property of items in list box two. And if we run that and click on an item, it does indeed um, split it up exactly how we want it. And even where, uh, for these first three, which I've modified and added an extra comma uh, within the quotes, uh, so it parses it correctly. Next, I am going to add a button. And when we click on this button, it's going to extract all the suburbs, the last column, and put them in this list box. So, um, and it's the the, la the last column is the sixth column. So, um, counting from zero, it happens to be five. Uh, so, we'll do a four in loop. So, just four in, and then press Control J for the template completion. Um, for line in. items and for some bizarre reason it declares that it is an object not a string and we need a temporary um, string list now I should do this in a, a, a try finally block but I'm just going to free it at the end, um, just because I'm lazy. So line dot comma text is assigned. Uh, line. I was going to say list box one dot items uh, and index into that, but uh, we don't need to, which is nice. Um, dot items.add and the fifth item let's run that click on the button and we've extracted the um, suburbs so that was pretty simple now for our uh, last little thing um, I'm going to convert this from being comma delimited to being pipe delimited. Um, occasionally you come across pipe delimited files, they're rather annoying, but um, still quite easily handled. And to do that, I'm going to add another, another button. And we're going to have a very similar um, um, bit of code for i assign 0 to one dot let's count minus one and we're going to need sticky string list and we'll create it. And 
free it. So we're just going to assign it um, using the comatics property. Start um, items I. And I'm just going to change the delimiter to a pipe character. Items I is assigned dot delimiter text. So that's fairly simple. And we run that. And it doesn't didn't does indeed convert all the commas to pipes, except for uh, these ones in the um, in the quotes. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope it was time well spent.